Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all of you. So we're going to talk about uh, electoral bonds. And as usual, I'm not going to go and uh, uh, take sides or land a blow and say this is what has happened and all of that. And so, uh, if the idea behind electoral bonds is the most important thing. Why do we? Why did? What is the pros and cons of having electoral bonds itself? It's important because there's a, I think there's a, the, in, in the grand scheme of things, there's been a ton of mud being slung here and there that we simply don't know. What, what is this thing? And so, uh, electoral bonds, think of it as uh, uh, an official way of backing a political party or an ideology or one vision for the country or state, wherever you live in. Live in. And so, it's important to understand that uh, one ideological bias and, and powerful themes are there for people all over the world. I've seen people dedicating themselves to a party and a cause that's they're spending their life and blood and sweat to that so there are people for whom dedicating a big part of their savings time energy to any cause and that cause could be ideological or party or political is very fulfilling and meaningful so you need to keep that in mind fine so so this is one mechanism for doing that and that's one idea that hey i like this ideology i like this vision for my country i'm putting money where my mouth is right? the second thing is the, the obvious transactional thing, you've heard this phrase a lot of times, quid pro quo. Quid pro quo is, I give you an apple in the expectation that you'll give me a biscuit. And so that is the that is quid pro quo, I give you something, I'll get something from you. And so a lot of these transactions where you are dependent on the government for getting some approval, therefore you hand over something to them and then, then they treat you well, have been around forever. So the other way of thinking about electoral bonds is what can, could or did happen in uh, shady back rooms of CD hotels with suitcases of money is now going to be done in these papers in official channels. And so we are not creating an avenue for corruption as much as we are saying, look, this, this crap is happening. Let's at least say we'll remove the sinister elements of this and say these are electoral bonds. And you can buy into them. The next idea that comes in is the notion of transparency and non-transparency. So all of us seem to think, hey, this should be transparent. Anywhere we hear transparent and non-transparent, we say our bias as individuals and citizens and upright citizens are it's like, look, it should be transparent. You're giving money to X, say that. It should be out in the open. It's all good. And so the 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 conceptual thing for non-transparency is look if i'm making a donation to a party to an ideology to the government and if it is transparent then the moment that that party goes off and the next one comes in there's a sword hanging over my head and so if i donate to party x the next election party y wins they're either going to demand that money from me or they're not going to give treat me fairly that's the understanding these guys disperse contracts and, and whatever not. So that is the basis for saying it should not be transparent. Again, electoral bonds and funding is a worldwide problem, especially in the US, the numbers involved are staggeringly high. They have PACs and super PACs and, and, and uh, the actual contributions coming from people being hidden beyond a certain number, beyond this, all there, all over the place. And so in many ways, uh, if it is transparent, you know what is being lobbied for, who is doing the lobbying, how much money has gone into the system. If it is not, these deals still happen, but they are backroom deals. That's the logic or the argument that the guys who are saying, look, electoral bonds should be there, they are saying. The second one, they are saying, look, it, it need not be transparent. The guys who are batting for transparency are saying, look, somebody is lobbying, this is what they are lobbying for, this much amount they have given, this is the thing that they have, they have skin in the game, let's see who it is, let's see how much money they have given let all numbers be out in the open, they can still donate and say, look, I like this ideology, I like this vision for the country, I'm putting money where my mouth is, that is fine, but we need to know. The non-transparency thing, everybody is going to see a quid pro quo. Everybody is going to say, you paid this money in March, what did you get in June? That is one. Second thing, I pay, you paid this money to this, this party, the next party is going to pick up the phone the moment they come to power, pick up the phone and say, hamar abhi thoda electoral bonds karid lona janam. It's going to happen. So the, 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 then this just raises the cost of doing business across the board. And so the, the grand argument is look, this stuff always happened. We are, we are channeling it into trackable forms. That is the grand argument for electoral bonds. To be honest, if you have to be very pragmatic, then this probably needs to be there. 
we need to figure out a way to not have suitcases and middlemen and so this makes some of the systems top heavy you cannot do a settlement for your local contract you can only buy electoral bonds with the grand party so they have to have a mechanism of disbursing funds but you're buying there and showing the receipt and, and whatever and so at least it is official channel trackable which is one part of it second part between transparency and non-transparency transparency is probably better because look this is happening law we'll call it not corruption but lobbying we'll call it not quid pro quo but uh, but fighting a debate fighting a battle and so this stuff happens all over the world so it's a whole nexus there is political parties there is government there are think tanks there are uh, uh, brokers there are industrialists and then there is some amount of money that goes into all of these increasing the machinery to work and so so it is it is to say look if it is transparent if it is bonds at least we can keep an eye on on this can we draw a line between one donation and one thing uh, is, it, is ed been involved in in, in creating a, a mahal for collecting electoral bonds i'm not going to do that i'm not going to get into that because it becomes super political and i'm very keen to read about it and, and smile about it and laugh at it on twitter but i'm not doing a youtube video because you're not a political analyst thing and so you can find that the data is available you can jump in and find that uh, what are the grand themes it's happening that there is clearly a giant whiff of corruption uh, the numbers are high and disheartening the straight line between what has happened and and what is being paid out is there in some cases the is hamam mein sab nange hain the center there are lots of guys who are for paying lots of guys lots of different parties that are receiving and uh, there is there's no one coming out smelling of roses from this and right? will this be an electoral issue i don't know I'm not a political analyst i'm not a psychologist i don't know that uh, as a citizen i'm a little peeved that th this is happening this openly this brazenly across the board all over the place and i'm worried that uh this data being leaked my fear or my gut feel is that many guys will look up and say looks so aise bhi kar sakte hain to so, broker ko goli maro directly pay kar dete hain let's deal it that so this is like entire track record is there right you, you take 20 crores in 18 suitcases and go and give it to one guy then this he maintains a record he has given you a parchi but if he says screw you you died here you have this receipt you can go to his boss his boss who is giving election ticket and said bap maine ये दिया है मुझे संभालो फाइन सो आई एम नॉट सेइंग इट्स अ गुड सिस्टम आई एम नॉट सेइंग इट शुड बी देयर बट आई आई फील लाइक दिस इंफॉर्मेशन कमिंग आउट इज प्रॉब्ली गोइंग टू नज द परचेज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रल बॉन्ड्स अ लिटिल हायर नॉट लोअर वी आर प्रॉब्ली एंटरिंग इनटू एन एरा ऑफ जस्ट बीइंग ऑफिशियल चैनल आउट देयर बट नॉट दिस रिड्यूसिंग मनी एंटरिंग इनटू इंडियन पॉलिटिक्स ऑफिशियली अनऑफिशियली इज गोइंग टू बी अ स्टडीली इंक्रीजिंग फंक्शन टाइम from now on it's already high is going to reach uh, staggering amounts of high uh, it's, it's it's inevitable we need to have checks and balances to keep that in mind keep that in track but this is saying look we've all collectively vastly underestimated the amount of money involved in, uh, in politics so this is a this is an issue we need to figure out ways and mechanisms of tracking it and 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 maintaining it and this is there across the world the, the mothership for this is the us the, the amounts of money that donors give in the us is a very 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 large amounts of money gets sloshed around in the system uh indian amounts are staggering by our standards and, and their my gut feel is that's going to increase we need to have mechanisms of of tracking that okay. super guys best wishes